Hello everyone, XP Games and Elk here, back with a new video. Um, today we're playing Fire Emblem: The Marcus Trial. Now to um, tell you what this is all about, this is a Fire Emblem hack I made for the uh, or hack, actually one single chapter I made for um, the Make a Fun Chapter Five. For uh, it was a uh, like. Um, it was a thread that was, um, it was a thread that Vesley made on FE Universe, um, and I decided to, you know, send in the chapter as a submission. So this is my submission, yeah, the palettes are all messed up because I didn't pay any attention to the real. Um, anyway, so, uh, by the way everyone, happy 2021. Um, let's hope that this year is a bit better than all the other stuff that happened last year. But with that all out of the way, let us focus on this submission. And I will be also telling you some creative choices I made along the way. Um, because there are some choices that I made, um, and some things that I did to balance the game. Now, um, you will see that I have... Difficulties here. That is because I tested on all three difficulties. Um, there isn't really any problem with any difficulties. Just the generic enemies are a tad bit stronger or weaker. But if you play in the way that this ROM hack is intended to be played, you won't run into any issues. Um, I'm going to delete this one because I will be playing on normal mode today. If you guys want me to play on a different mode, then you just leave in the comments below. Um, I will also accept new... If you have a question about FE Builder, by the way, if you're watching this video and you want to know something uh, about FE Builder, you want me to do a tutorial, suggest something in the comments because I'm running out of topics to make tutorials on. So if you want something specific to be covered, now is your chance. Uh, we're going to play on normal mode. That That's all out of the way. Let's focus on this chapter now, on this hack. The Marcus Trial. Now you will quickly enough see what this means, and you hear Fire Emblem 7 music. Oh, more Fire Emblem 7. Hey, that's Hector and Ellawood. Are you ready for your trial, Ellawood? Yes, father. I have trained very hard for this day. How about you, brother? I don't need to train. I've sparred with Ellawood. Uh, Ellawood. Not Ellawood. Ellawood. Ellawood so much that I, uh, that I too have improved. And with Osman by, uh, Oswin by my side, there's no way we'll lose. We'll have to see about that. Lady Lindis and her grandfather should be arriving soon. Then the trial will start. I think I see her. Hey, there we go. Elowood, Hector, Lindis, it has been a while. Are both of you ready for the Marcus's trial? So this is, um what this is all about. It's the Marcus tr uh, Marcus's trial. It's really hard to pronounce all those S's, but uh, all those asses, ha. No, it is the Marcus's trial. It's, it's, you'll soon see what it's all about, but we have the three candidates for Marcus right here. Not, not Marcus is in the, oh, the confusion. Not the paladin Marcus, but the Marcus, the ruler of the area or the uh, t territory. I heard that it's not going to be easy. I'm fully prepared. I've trained daily for this very moment. How about you, Hector? Me? I've helped out Ellywood. I've not trained that much myself, but I should get the job done. Oh, look, who's that? Alright, everyone, listen up. Today's trial will be led by our newest fairy and captain, Maxwell. He will explain the trial's elements as well as the rules that are applied. Oh, hey, it's me! <laughs> Sorry, I just felt the need to include myself somehow. This is my project, I can do whatever I want, okay? Even if it is to change the the canon timeline of FE7, I can do what I want. Greetings, everyone. My name is Maxwell, but you may call me XP today. In today's trial, you will face seven trial captains. One of the first three trial captains is to be defeated in order to proceed. So this might not make sense now, but I will show you uh, what I mean by this. After that, the only thing that remains is defeating the rest of the enemies. So this is basically a glorified route chapter. Elowit, Lindis, and Hector, you will have fixed starting positions. You'll see that in a bit. You are allowed to bring three comrades with you for your trial. 
for Elwood, these comrades are Bartray, Dorcas, Rebecca, and Lowen. So you have to make a choice between four characters. For Lindis, these comrades are Ken, Sane, Florina, and Will. And for Hector, these comrades are Oswin, Matthew, Sarah, and Farina. Wait, who's Farina? Some mercenary we hired. We couldn't find more volunteers, so we resorted to hiring people. Anyway, moving on. You cannot interfere each other's trial. It is possible to exchange comrades, but I wouldn't recommend it. Each comrade has a set amount of equipment. That's also really uh, interesting to keep in mind. That is all. Are there any questions? Oh, there was supposed to be a pause then, but I skipped it. All right then, let the Marcus's trial begin. Oh, by the way, before I forget, please do not switch the inventories of characters. I'm looking at you, player. Not only do I consider it cheating, but I've playtested this map with set items. So please, refrain yourself from switching inventories. Or inventor- inventories, inventories, is there any difference? I don't really know, I think it's just like that stupid thing that... Um, one, the, the, the inventories is like British or something. I don't know, let's focus on the, on the gameplay. So, um, as you can see, we have... Uh, Hector here with his starting squad of Oswin, Sarah, and Matthew, and we have Ella Wood with Dorcas, Bartre, Lowen, we have Lynn, Sane, Kent, and Florina. So, what I'm going to do right away is because um, I kind of find Sarah quite useless for this challenge because everyone has a vulnerary, and you really, if you play clever, if you create a good strategy, you don't need Sarah that much. So I'm going to select F uh, Farina instead, and let's look if she is in the correct spot. E she's in the correct spot, all right. So uh, let's look at everyone's inventory before we uh, go on. So we have Hector here. Uh, Hector has strong repost. One other attack, damage plus three. Um, Hector is a tanking unit, as well as he's wary fighter. Uh, Hector's a tank, so I do not really see anything, uh, wait, why does Hector, oh, this, these are just his growths, I also took FE7 groves and generic FE7 bases for level 10 units, so as you can see, everyone's level 10, uh, I have added the description, just because, you know, um, so this is Hector. Hector is, uh, as usual, a defensive unit with also quite a lot of strength. Uh, he's a tank and you need a counter with him. That's sort of the thing with most heavy armored characters. They're just for counter-attacking and tanking shit. Um, so he has the Wolf Bill, which will be very important on this uh, playthrough. Or on his uh, part of the trial, as you will see in a bit. Uh, why? Oh God, no! He has a launch rank. I forgot to remove that. Um, well, yeah, that's that's quite. If someone abuses this, I will disqualify them from the leaderboards of Speedrun.com because you are not allowed to use this. This is an oversight. Um, anyway, so we, uh, moving on. That that's that's Hector. Um, there we have Elwood. Elwood has a steel sword. I have never used this steel sword because the rapier is just ten times better because it's way lighter. It, it, the, the might difference is only one. Um, Elwood has the charisma skill, grants ten hit and avoid to all allies within three tiles, which is really nice to have. Um, then we have Aether. I have never seen Elwood trigger this, so maybe today um, he got a C in swords, alright. Um, Elwood, not very different from usual Elwood. Uh, he, he's a lot stronger though. Usually Elwood is quite weak. And uh, yeah, that's that. This is how he sort of would have looked with the generic uh, level ups. So then we have Lin. Lin, I designed because Lin did not have a Lord class in FE8. I just um, changed uh, Erica's Lord class into Elwood's Lord class, uh, Hector's Lord class into. Um, you know, into Hector. For Elowood, it is clear that he's just a regular lord, like Charisma and Aether and stuff, that's what most regular lords have, or what I think a regular lord has. Hector is a tank, so I decided to give him, like, wary fighter and shit. But for Lin, Lin is a fast, she's sort of a more glorified Myrmidon in my eyes. So that is why I uh, gave her personal skill Adept, so that she can trigger, she has a 50% chance of striking twice after one another, which is quite a good 
uh, chance. She has Duelist Blow, which makes her significantly better for this trial thingy. Uh, she has Charm, because I'm a Lord. I gave her Charm because of Lord and Vantage, so she's sort of a glorified Myrmidon. And she has the Manny Caddy, which is a really good weapon. Um, if it weren't for Lin using this in Fire Emblem 7, if someone else used this weapon, they could have broken the game. That's how stupidly good this weapon is. 20 crit at base is just stupidly high. This weapon is stronger than a rapier, mind you. This is just a steel sword with uh, more hit, less weight, and more crit. It's just a way better steel sword. Next up is Dorcas. Oh boy, who put poison in his mutton? I don't know. He has a killer axe. I gave him a killer axe because um, Bartra has a... Where's Bartra? Bartra has a hand axe, and I needed a second weapon for Dorcas, so I gave him a killer axe. Um, so yeah, Dorcas. Dorcas has some really strong weapons, but um, I think Dor yeah, Dorcas is the most more accurate one of the two fighter bros. Um, has just the simple um, C axe rank. Um, he's just very strong, okay? He's just bonkers. But when looking at Dorcas's skills, fighters only have two skills at level 10. This is Dorcas's personal skill, Odd Rhythm. Uh, on odd number turns, he will gain plus 10 hit and avoid. You'll see why he has this skill in a bit. And Fiery Blood, 4 damage when HP is not at max. Which is also a pretty decent thing to keep in mind. Dorcas could just bonk most Lance enemies. Uh, so that's Dorcas. Let's move on to Lowen. Lowen's portrait is out of the box, or it, it's just, it's not, yeah, Lowen is a bit, portrait is a bit weird here. Lowen, I found out I never used Lowen that much in FE7, but Lowen is a defensive calf, it seems, because he has a shit ton of defense, and, and as well as a shit ton of strength and speed, I do not know, it's just a, um, if you could combine Sane and Kent, but then, um, not, not, like, super Sane and super Kent. Really hard to explain. It's just Lowen. Lowen is a bit more of a defensive calf. Um, he has Pragmatic. When foe is not at full HP, attack plus 3 and defense and resistance plus 1. I gave him this skill purely because if you wanted to use Lowen for tanking and counter attacking, like enemy face countering, because he has that high defense, then this skill would be pretty nice. That, that's my that were those were my thoughts behind Lowen. Um, Kanto, like most Cavaliers or all Cavaliers actually, Discipline, uh, Triangle Depth doubles weapon triangle effects, and finally Elbow Room is also generic Cavalier skill. He has a Slim Sword and Iron Lance because if he had any other equipment, he would go absolutely bonkers. C ranks in both, so he could wield he could wield steel weapons, but I decided to give him Slim and Iron Weapon for now. Bartram has a Hand Axe, so he's the only character that, if you do not switch inventories, he's the only character of Elowood's party that can strike at 1-2 range. Um, that That's just Bartram. He has a C in Staves, which is, again, an oversight, but it doesn't really matter. You cannot abuse Staves, because... Well, you could give him a staff. You could play around with it. If you want to be a real idiot, you can do that. Bartra is just pure strength. That That's just Bartra. And that's why Fiery Blood works pretty well on him. Not really any much to say about Bartra. But this is important. He has even rhythm. So on turns like two, even number turns two, four, six, he will gain plus ten hit, uh, plus ten hit in the void. Uh, which is important for the first two turns. And Dorcas has the exact opposite rhythm skill, so they work nice as a duo. But then we have Kent. Kent is the Lance Cav, or focusing on Lances. I gave him Lance Fair because of that. And no, Kent looks pretty good. Kent is the faster one. Yeah, Kent is faster and a bit more accurate. Um, so, there's that. Um, that's just Kent, and Sane is completely the opposite, deals a lot more damage but is slower, and he has Sword Fair, as well as a Steel Sword, and Kent has Lance Fair and a Steel Lance. So this, again, is sort of a duo that I wanted to implement. 
Uh, then we have Florina. Florina is just fast. That's sh Florina, really. And she also has Tentivity. If there are no allies within three tiles, plus ten hit and avoid. Uh, she also has Darting Blow. Just generic Florina, generic fast Pegasus Knight with high strength, mind you. Uh, then we have Aswin. What do I need to say about Aswin? He's just a tank with really high strength. Uh, and he has the Savior skill. So yeah, and he has Provoke. But really not more to say about Aswin than just being a tank like Hector, but instead of using axes, he uses lances. We have Matthew. Now, Matthew is pretty cool because, uh, no, not because of despoil, but Matthew uh, can steal, and I have put stealables on Hector's path, so you might want to keep an eye out for that. And he has the Infiltrator, if within two spaces of two or more enemies, gain three damage and 15 hit. That's just, I thought Matthew is a spy, so this Infiltrator skill kind of fits, you know? And then we have Farina for the units that I have deployed. Uh, Wind Disciple. Just a skill that makes her a bit better. Uh, and she has a Killer Lance. And for the rest, I do not really have any more to say. And then we have Sarah for healing with uh, Demazel because she is a bit of a. Uh, yeah. She's a damsel. She's. It's Sarah. Um, we have. Will with focus, 10 critical if there are no allies within 3 tiles. So, you know, it can critical hit stuff. More critical hit, I thought, would be nice to have on Will. Uh, Will does not have a killer bow, sadly, but he does have a long bow. I'm not deploying Will. And finally, we have Rebecca. Rebecca has. Uh, because Rebecca comes from a village, you know, she's actually sort of a villager, glorified archer. Uh, she's not really a soldier or anything. I gave her Forager. And that's that. She does have a short bow. I do not know why I gave her a short bow, just because Will already has the long bow. I thought, why not give Rebecca the short bow? You know? Alright, so that were our characters. Let's move on to some of the enemy characters. You got your generic Farian and the Ast and Lysian here. And most of these enemies have a weapon they will drop for the character that is supposed to kill them. You'll see that in a bit. Um, we have Elbert here with an Earth Seal, and I saw an Armanite with a Speed Wing. That's on El uh, Hector's thing. Uh, a Javelin Soldier here, a Draco Shield Soldier there. Uh, we have Stat Boosters scattered around this one, a Steel Axe for Hector. Uh, we have Lord Hassan, Lin's grandfather, Marcus of Lycia, was poisoned multiple times by his brother. This is not a generic description, I needed to write this. As well as I needed to make a palette for uh, Hassan. And I made uh, him a Bow Knight, or a Ranger. Now, allow me to explain why I did this. Um, because... Lord Hassan is the grandfather of Lin, and Lin is from the Lorca tribe, and tribesmen are usually nomads in Sakai. But I thought, Lord Hassan doesn't live like a nomad. I thought he was like a done, he, he, he did not live like a nomad, he was not the traditional nomad, but he might still have the nomad's blood in him, and he would still be capable of riding atop a horse, maybe. So that's what I thought, and that is why I made him a ranger. Really far, far-fetched idea, but you know. Then we have Marcus. Oh, by the way, Lord Hassan is uh, point blank, and he has a bow, so be careful. Uh, Marcus with expertise, so critical hits will reduce the bow disk damage. So be careful about that. Uh, it's just Marcus. The uh, nerfed Marcus, by the way. Marcus would otherwise have completely wrecked us. Marcus has been nerfed. We have Harkin uh, with fiery blood. Every mercenary and hero used to have um, seal speed, but that on the long term would drop the stats of units so much that I decided to change it to arms thrift. Harkin is dangerous, by the way. Uh, um, let's see. Hey, it's me! A former mercenary that became a captain of various ranks. I'm a level 15 mercenary with a light bread and a silver sword and fiery blood. I'm really scary, so be careful. Oh, we have Uther here. Uther is just a generic Armonite with Armored Blow. So, yeah, that that's scary. Moving on, we have Isadora with um, Opportunist, plus 4 damage if the foe cannot counterattack. Thought that would be a nice skill. 
Um, and I think that's actually everyone. Lord Albert, yeah, he also has strong repost. I didn't really f view that. But before we start the chapter, every single unit has an Earth Seal. Why is that? Well, I wanted everyone to sort of gain a promotion um, to make the last part of the map a little more interesting. So there is that. Um, let us begin. And let me explain the creative choices. So let me start at Elowood's side first. I always like to put Lowen in this forest here with an iron lance because of this mercenary. Um, let me quickly change the settings here. There we go. Um, so there is that. Lowen is in that forest. And I did that just because uh, Lowen has a much easier time dealing with the Steel Sword Mercenary. And what I always do is put Elowood behind him for the extra bonuses of like... Um, Charisma and then on the left side I've placed these soldiers here because if you were to deploy uh, Dorcas and Bartra um, They can easily deal with those soldiers. So here's this soldier um, You need to check his range because it is turn one currently as you can see and You know this soldier reaches to this tile and Dorcas has the um, odd rhythm so he gains plus 10 hit and avoid on odd number turns, and this soldier has a javelin, so he could attack without uh, getting countered. So we could put Dorcas in this little square here with a steel axe, so he can deal with this guy. And Bartra, next turn on turn 2, where he gains bonuses, can deal with this soldier, which is just big brain. Then when we go to Lin's side, I've placed Kent on the right, so he can face this soldier, and I've put Zane on the left, so he can face this fighter. What I usually do is I place Kent over here, uh, with his lance, then wait. Then I place Zane here with the steel sword, and wait. And what I do next is move Lin, uh, over here, and Florina to the left. You could switch those two, but it really doesn't matter, but I place Lin here and Florina now on the left doesn't really matter so if you really want to get um, the stealables what you can do is you can put um, Hector in range of this Armonite with a hand axe equipped so let's do that real quick uh, this soldier has a javelin we could make this soldier go for far enough if we truly wanted to but let's not do that right now uh, let's place Farina here and Matthew over here. So there is that. That's the first turn, basically. Let's see. Hector doesn't kill this guy. Because, of course, wary fighter, he just doesn't deal enough damage to do so. Wait, what the hell is happening? Hector. Why? Oh, hey. Bowen got hit by 27%. That's not good. I thought you would be a little bit more dodgy today, Bowen. Aha! The soldier goes for Dorcas. What is with the low hit rates? There we go. Nice one, Dorcas. And we got a steel lance for low and later. Ouch. Nice one, Kent. There we go. Very nice. So yeah, that soldier is down now, and he gives Kent an Iron Lance, because you do not want to keep using the Steel Lance, that's what was my thought behind this. There we go, Sane with the Steel Sword, and Sane is quite slow, so he won't double. But what's up with our group not dodging? What's up with that? Aha, everyone's moving in. Uh-oh. You are not the... Hector, what is this? Dude, what's wrong with our hit rates and dodges? The RNG is a bit weird. Um, so anyway, I wanted to kill this guy with Sane real quick. Alright, Sane does not suffer from Hector tier misses. There we go, very nice. An iron sword. Good job. Um, let's see. This guy moves over there. Um, why not just put... Uh, Florina will die, I guess. We could put 
Kent over here with like a vulnerary or something. You know what might even be better if we just do this and then place Florina with a javelin here? Because that might make it so that Flori uh, that one of the soldiers over here goes for Florina, or what the Iron Lance goes for Kent, I guess. And this one goes uh, for, for Florina. Look, for Florina. Very nice tongue twister, that is. Um, so, this guy has a stealable speed wing, and this guy just has a simple javelin. So if we just quickly nab this speed wing, thank you very much, and then we kill that dude with Hector. If Hector misses this one, there we go. Nice one. Hector knows what hitting is. Nice one, Hector. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're putting Oswin here. And Oswin is just a boss. Look at him. And if it's correct, the soldier that, um, with the javelin should go for, um, Oswin now, because Oswin has Provoke. So this guy should go for Oswin, if correct. Uh, let's put Dorcas, or uh, Bartra. Let's put you over here, dude, with the Hand Axe, and Dorcas behind you. Let's jug, jug a Vulnerary real quick. Alright, and then Elwood can finish this guy off, I guess. Well, he can. But he's getting doubled. But no stress. Everything's working out up until now. Elu didn't miss. So we got a steel sword now. Um, let's give this one to Lowen. Because you know... Lowen needs a stronger weapon, right? So there's that. Let's end our turn. We do not really need a Mufarina. So as I expected, this guy goes for Kent. And Kent is, with Lonsfer, completely destroys these guys. But Kent is just that good. Look at that, he's almost level up. Another Iron Lance, that one is actually for Florina. Uh-oh, the Cavs are going for Bartra and Dorcas. That's... Uh-oh. You could have just baited the Javelin Soldier out. But this happened now. Because we started to rush. That's not good. Oh, hey. How you doing? Oh, this guy goes for Kent. Hmm. Well, Kent can take it, of course. It's Kent. He's good. Aha! Ouch. So, my strategy for this soldier coming up is rather simple. See, this guy also has a dragon shield. We have another stealable here, so we're gonna grab that real quick. But no, Matthew cannot move. Kanto plus thieves would have been cool. Um, what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm going to take you down with Farina. There you go. Ouch. There we go. So now, uh, Oswin can block off Matthew. With Matthew being the, um, you know, the weaker and more squishy one. Now this Cavalier can actually target, um, your boy, Oswin. With Provoke, he should go for Oswin, that's not a secret. Um, Hector, let you wait, okay? So this is tricky now, because this Cavalier is here. Um, he wields a Lonsta, so that's quite a relief, I guess. Uh, this Archer is pretty tricky. This Archer is tricky to deal with. Let's put you in the fortress then, Bartra. Uh, can you deal with this guy? This guy only has a lance, right? Um, yeah, he only has a lance. That's quite nice. We could do this, but... What if we have Dorcas just... I don't know, just give him the Killer Axe because the Cavalier might double him. So that's that. The Cavalier was supposed to be dealt uh, with by Elowood. Elowood had to kill that guy. There we go, nice one, Bartra. I should have gone Iron Axe instead. But, you see, since Bartra is all out attack, I wanted to go for the forest. That's a lie, I just wanted to go for the forest. Um, so this one, this Cavalier shouldn't be too much of a, an issue right now. Let's move Elowood up with a Rapier. We've almost disposed of the enemies here in Elowood's uh, little thingy. 
everything. So low and over here. Let's let Florina deal with this guy. Uh, Florina doesn't kill though. Hmm. We could uh, let Lin do the thing here. We could have Lin soften this guy up. And thanks to Duelist Blow, this guy's hit rate is trash. So there we go. Nice kill setup for Florina. Oh, and by the way, that Cavalier up there doesn't move. So there is that. That's this guy down. So now we have a turn for like Kent and Sane to heal. Uh, Sane, you can throw Iron Sword real quick and heal up. And then for Kent, we'll trade around an Iron Lance. You can have that and give Kent a Javelin and heal up as well. So there's that. Not really that much movement. Oh, he's going for Dorcas. I would have expected that. Nice one, Dorcas. Critical hit. Killer Axe might have been a little bit too overpowered, but hey, I just want to screw around with good weapons, you know? And, as expected, Provoke does the trick. Ba -ba. So now what I want to do is give you the dragon, the dragon shield. Yeah, usually it's called Draco shield in the more recent games. Kanto away. Um, Matthew can actually take on this fighter here. We'll wait with a turn. For, we'll wait a turn for that though. Um, yeah, we could try the hand axe. There we go, Hector has compensated all of his misses by a 41 hit. Nice. So that almost takes care of the enemies here as well. Um, yeah, Oswin cannot really move that far. And all the enemies in the Elowood section are actually done. So we can move on to the first trial captain, and that is Marcus. Now Marcus is quite scary. There are actually a couple of ways to beat him. Uh, my favorite is just by using Dorcas. But you could also do it with Elowood, and I'll sh uh, hope to show that off. So here we go. Let's have Lin. Oh, very nice. That's how good the Manikati is, everyone. And triple bonus damage. That's not present in FE7. Very nice level up. I also upped the growth rate of the characters a bit. Doesn't matter on this long or this short term hack. It's not really an issue. So I actually do not want to engage with Harkon until I've healed my characters. And Sane is pretty important for dealing with Harkon as well, because Sane just deals a shit ton of damage to Harkon. I'll show that in a bit. Let's split Farina here. And now it's time. Let's put how much damage does Dorcas take? 12 damage. It's not bad. Okay, let's just attack with Dorcas. I am Marcus, one of the three trial captains. Or this, that's, that's a trail. Very nice. Don't hold back, because I will give it my all. You didn't get a crit, but I really do not. That doesn't really matter that much. And level up for Dorcas. So you can kind of cheese Marcus. He has a second sword equipped. He has a sword as a secondary weapon. But you can kind of cheese by just doing this, rescuing Dorcas, and then dropping... Um, oh wait. We cannot drop on the same turn, but we could have, like, Elowood wait here. Um, let's just let Elowood wait. He might counterattack, kill Marcus, as well as he has unique dialogue with Marcus. Um, same thing goes for Hector and Elbert, as well as Hector and Uther have unique dialogue together, which is... I thought it was just a really nice addition. There we go, we're going to place Hector here and Aswin here. Where does this guy reach? Um, let's put Farina over here and Jaga Vulnerary. So she's full health again. Let's keep you over here. Uh, and now, let's go and defeat Harkon, shall we? You see, Harkon's hit rate is utter trash with a hand axe, and Lin completely destroys him. If it weren't for that crit, we would have had a backup strat, and that is with... Yeah, we could kill him with Kent, but I like to do it with Sane, because 
Look at the 21 damage that Saint just deals right here. Oh, and the boss crit kill patch. Congratulations, you are one step closer. Bye, Harkon. Thank you for being a trial captain. Full level up for Saint. Speed. That's not good. We got an Earth Seal and... Ooh, you've defeated one of the trial captains. The doors have opened. So now we can proceed to the second part of the map. Now give me your Earth Seal because Kent is superior to Sane. There I said it. Kent is better than Sane. Deal with it. I have used Kent more than Sane. But you know, in the end it all comes down to this. You should use both, because Cavaliers are not bad at all. Cavaliers are freaking good in every step. In any Game Boy Advance game, in any Fire Emblem game, Cavaliers are good, okay? Oh, he uses his sword, actually. I do not know why. And there we go. The special conversation didn't trigger, though. It was supposed to be like, Ellawood would attack Marcus, and it was like, Marcus! And Marcus would be like, Ellawood. Thank you for ma- or congrats on making it so far, or something like that. But this is just the beginning. Also, music change. Aha, 0% hit rate. Bonk. Bop. I also triggered a music change to change- to, to make the second part of the map a bit different from the first one. As you can hear, the music has changed. Go, Matthew! This guy should have had one less health. Then Matthew would have done really good. Um, yeah, let's just wait, I guess. Um, Lowen, let's drop you. Drop Dorcas, and we'll give you the Earth Seal because Cavalier's Gob. Alright. Um, we've done well so far. Let's see, um, when using Alliance, we do actually get some pretty good stuff. Can Florina rescue, yeah, we can actually rescue drop Kent out of this fight. I am the Marcus of Lycia. You must prove yourself worthy of serving with this. Let us duel. Let's go, Kent. Oh, shoit. The sure shot. I was, I was looking at that 1% crit. And I thought, he wouldn't do it. But then I saw Sure Shot and I thought, he crit. And I was scared for a second. So let's drop Kant off here. And we'll do it. We'll kill off Lord Hawson in a fashioned way. Um, yeah, let's end the turn. You might think it's almost over, but I have a still a little surprise for you. And with me having a surprise, I literally mean me. There we go. Papa. And Matthew doesn't level up, I'm disappointed. But hey. I just thought of this. Can Matthew actually steal... I think he can... Yeah, he can just steal the Earth Seal, making this part a lot easier. He could do it. But we just used the Wolf Beal. And Hector missed, because otherwise the crit animation would have been displayed. It's no biggie. No biggie. Not really. Um, so we could have Matthew steal the Earth Seal right here. Let's just do it. He levels up. That's just good. And there we go. Nice level up, Matthew. Um, let's get you out of there. You're out of here, though. Uh-oh. And let's have uh, Oswin with the Javelin. Well, he has Provoke, but let's not really do that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put Iron Lance Lowen with an Earth Seal. We're going to promote him. So as you might have noticed with Kent, if you have ever paid attention to promotion bonuses, is this. Take a look at the promotion bonuses. I have doubled them. Or increase them with two, I mean. I've increased every promo thingy with two. Because I thought that would just be a bit of a nicer touch. Because otherwise, this la later part of the map would be just such a hassle. Um, 
I have a silver sword and a light brand. That's quite scary. I do get weighed down by the silver sword, though. Oh, wait, I don't? But what weighs me down, then? At least I'm... My hit rate is just a lot. My avoidance just drops somehow. Um... When I have engaged combat with someone, I do not know what that is. It might just be because of charm or something like that. We'll see. Uh, let's heal up Kent. Oh, Kent doesn't have a vulnerary. Hmm. Uh, we could give you one. Here, there you go. Let's finish off Lord Hawson with Lin right here. Oh, come on, Lin. Uh-oh. Why must you hurt me this way, Lord Hawson? I will be right back, and then we'll finish this chapter. Give me a bit. Alright, we're back. Um, after that unfortunate defeat we suffered, we're now back, uh, trying to defeat, uh, Lord Hawson. He really did play the dirty trick on me because he has Sure Shot. I know that much, but it has a, um, 10% chance of triggering, and it triggered, like, twice in a row, and that's really, really stupid. He never triggered it when I playtested, so it's just bad RNG once again. Let's put, uh, Hector over here and try to defeat Isadora. Very nice, Hector. Seems like things are going a bit more fine right now. And there we go, Hector gains a full level up. Nicely done. Extra speed. And resistance. So now Hector is an Earth Seal. I'm going to give this to Farina, I guess. Because you can never go wrong with a fast Pegasus Knight, right? So there we go. That's Farina right here. Promoting to a Falcon Knight. Very nice. And she is capable of using a Steel Sword right now. But she doesn't have one. I didn't give her one. You can now use swords. Nice. Let's move you up here. By the way, the Lords promote with Heaven Seal, of course, so they do not have a promotion in this game. Um, yeah, let's go and defeat Lord Hawson, I guess. So, Lin. Oh, wait, Lin takes... Lin does... Let's just heal. We just do not want to lose the Lin again. Oh, by the way, if you enter uh, a square that goes from here to, like, here, if you enter this square, imagine a square with one of the corners being here, the down right, and the most top, and the top left being here. If you enter this square, something will happen. And I'll not spoil it, because that's not fun. Okay, so let's end our turn. And let's try to take down Lord Hassan, shall we? So please, do not crit me, or do not kill me. I'm the Marcus of Lycia, you must have blah, 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 blah. We've already read this. There is a... Lin is angry. Lin, you have great friends. So, Lin was totally gone, had totally gone mad. But she has a unique convo with her grandfather. But in order to trigger that, you need to get the generic one out of the way. I do not know how it, that really works. So hey, K, uh, Sane, why don't you promote? I mean, two paladins, not bad, right? But we can get three. That much is certain. Let's go. So we now have Sane. And yeah, let's go. Fully offensive Sane. Woo! So now we have a Sane. Let's put you over here. Uh, let's put Kent over here with a Lance. Alright, seems like he is capable of taking me on quite fine. Look, look, it's me. Former mercenary that became a captain in Fairy's ranks. I'm cool, right? No. I guess I'm not cool. Um, yeah. We have a little bit of... This bow, uh, this steel bow that uh, Bartra has picked up is originally for if you were going to use Rebecca, but we do not have Rebecca. Though, if you promote either Dorcas or uh, 
Bartra into a warrior, they will get D rank in bows immediately, so they can use that steel bow right out, right off the bat. Which I thought was a nice touch. So also Loan promotes, and all paladins, by the way, gain access to axes. That's nice. Let's keep you waiting here. Then we are, we're going to kill Uther. Yeah. Let's put Farin over here with the killer lands. Uh, Hector is really good at killing U Uther because of, you know, the wolf veal. Uh, Uther also has a... Uh, oh, yeah, we feud uh, Lord Hawson's description. Hector's older brother, Marcus of Ostia. There you go. That's the generic description. Uh, no, Dorcas, we're not going to put you in range, you fool. So if correct, so you've made it up to me. Make no mistake. I'll make sure that I'm your biggest obstacle yet. Yeah. Oh shit, I missed. <laughs> I missed. So if correct. Uh-oh. What's that? It's nothing special, it's just my unit. Maxwell's personal unit, they are skilled swordsmen. And they have a door key. Uh-oh, and Iron Blades. So this door key gimmick is just... These guys have a door key because that gives you an extra turn to prepare for the reinforcements that have just arrived. I'm a generous person, okay? I'm not going to ambush spawn you immediately. Let's say that you're currently still fighting like me and Lord Hassan and Uther at the same time. And you see these guys show up, you have an additional turn to prepare. That's how nice I am. So what happens if we attack? Um, Loan doesn't survive two hits, Kent doesn't either, right? No. Uh, I exactly kill him, so let's just, just wait. Uh, let's go. If it isn't my little brother. And this one somehow does trigger before the generic one. Hello, brother. Should we even fight? We both know the outcome already. Don't get cocky now. We are equal opponents, Hector. And after me come many more. Show me what you've got. Aha! See? You shouldn't be such a wuss, Hector. No, I'm just being really, really mean against Hector now. I, I just didn't really know how to write Hector, so I went with a little bit of a laid-back style, so laid-back Hector, as if nah, it's no, not a really that big of a deal. I should instead have given him the I want to fight treatment, because I do remember him having some of that. But yeah, I'm not not an expert in dialogue, at least not yet. Ha ha! Oh shit, I missed again! <laughs> I really suck! <laughs> I missed! <laughs> oh, I missed! I'm Uther, Marquess of Ostia. You have come far in this trial. Prove to me the strength that has brought you here. Bang. Hector, why are you so inaccurate? Let's just get Elowood over, okay? Because Elowood can boost your hit rate. Let's just get Elowood over to Hector. As well as, um, Uther is holding a Tumahawk, which is just an axe, and Elowood wields a sword. See what I'm getting at? Alright, so this guy is a simple pushover. Uh, what happens if we attack with Oswin dies? Let's not do that. Oswin is cool. Let's not make Oswin die. Um, so what does Lin's skill do within two tiles, right? Yeah, plus two damage for allies within two tiles. So let's remove... Let's move Loan from the scene so we can fully focus on Kent. Um... I guess we can give Florina some extra experience. It's not like that guy can proc a skill or something. Let's do this. Aha! My units go! He missed. It seems that my unit is as bad as me. But we're tier 1 classes. Forgive us. We're tier 1s with blades. Pop, 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 pop. Florina, what the hell? What's this? Hey, how you doing? Ouch. That hurt. And that's a kill. Goodbye, me. Ouch. 
you are quite strong. Your strength has been approved. And I die. I'm dead. Earth Seal! Hey, Uther, how you doing? Wow, you still missed. Hector, you bad. Alright, so now we can start engaging Albert. Uh, Kent is quite fine against Albert, actually. Um, we do not have healing for you, but uh, we do have Dorcas. So let's make an equal trade, shall we? Uh, and let's promote Dorcas into a warrior. Because Dorcas is the killer axe. There is one more Earth Seal to be obtained in this chapter, and... Well, I could give it to Bartra or something. It's more of a formality to give to who to give it to at this point, because we have to we we are capable of defeating Albert. That much is clear. Let's see. Yeah, that doesn't really work. Let's put Ellawood here for now, so that Hector gets a little bit of extra accuracy. We're going to get uh, Farinat in the throne area just for backup. There are no more reinforcements coming, by the way. Those were all the reinforcements. So let's heal up Kent, because one of the requirements was that this was beatable in 30 minutes. If I hadn't died, that would have been significantly less time. I would have spent significantly less time in this chapter, but... Oh, as well as reading out the dialogue and shit. That's just... Do we die? No, we can safely... Jug of Vulnerary. Chug or Jug? Yeah, I'll just say Chug. Safely drink of Vulnerary. That's that. So now Hector should be a bit more accurate. Oh, hey. Done goofed. With your blades and shit. I'm faster. So yeah, that is... Basically the rest of the chapter. We still need to take down two units Nothing more than that. Hey, yeah So Hector's gained an additional 10 hit which is nice. I Really love rise of the challenge if you hadn't noticed by the way I really love that song. It's probably the best Fire Emblem Game Boy Advance boss theme stab ouch there we go, that's a kill. Very nice. Well done. I approve your strength. Bye, Uther. There we go. So now the only obstacle in our way is Lord Albert. So let's just attack with the Manikadi first. He cannot proc a skill, right? No. So we should be quite safe, regardless if he hits or misses. The trial is almost over. I am one of the final challenges you will face. Let us finish this grand test. Oh, very nice. If Lin is going to crit now... Nope. Well, he did some nice damage, I guess. Let's get her out of there. Uh, with, like, Farina. Because the Cavaliers are the most reliable. There's that. Let's put in Dorcas. Let's see if he can get the kill. If he crits, we'll have a kill. Oh, but he hits. That's also good. So now we only need to deal four more points of damage, and then we have completed the chapter. So let's see if we can do that with Kent. Uh, Kent can definitely do it, but... Oh, wait. We can definitely do it with, like, Kent, but... What about Bartra? We could... Let's let Bartra do it. There we go. Nice one, Bartra. Well done. You are one step closer. So I gave Albert the mentality of like, even though if you defeat me, you're not there yet. Um, because it could be that you defeat Albert before the other captains, you know? So that's another ill earth seal. You have done well, Elliewood. Just like your friends, you have completed the trial. I am proud of you. Thank you, Father, but I could not have done it without them. The music. Does this mean that I am ready to become Marcus? Not yet. However, as you most likely know, the trials required to become Marcus. 
a uh, Marques, whatever. I do not know how to pronounce. Let us call this a victory, this victory a step in the right direction. Lord Elliewood, Lord Hector requested your presence. You wanted to discuss your grand victory. I should also mention that there's a feast going on. It is to celebrate the end of the trial. Father, it's okay, Elliewood. You may leave. Thank you, Father. And there is that. That's the Marcus trial. Let's proceed to the next chat. Uh oh, wait. Yeah, this is just because I wanted to show off that it's one endless loop. Because I don't really like when a ROM hack is one chapter long and then it still goes to the vanilla Sacred Stones chapters. Just make it a loop. It's really easy to do. So now you can infinitely kill Albert and the rest. And what's the best is that you still get to keep your pre-promoted characters. But even better is that you gain a secret unit for clearing the game. And that's me! I am level 15 and I hold the only obtainable silver weapon and the only obtainable light brand. Um, my groves are pretty good. And I immediately... I am level 15. You could immediately promote me, which is something I'm going to do just to show off and end the video. So there is that! That is the Marcus Trial. Um, I really hoped you enjoyed this video, even as long as it is, and the short the chapter is. I still hope you enjoyed. Uh, make sure to leave a thumbs up if you really enjoyed this. Uh, do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already, because a small percentage of people who watch my videos are subscribed. So if you wanna just do me a favor, subscribe, and you do not have to ring the bell because sometimes I upload trash and you, some people really do not want to watch that so you do not necessarily have to ring the bell but it would be nice if you did um, and yeah you might also want to give me feedback on this if you feel like it leave it in the comments below just leave your, uh, your what you think about this just leave that down below your thoughts um, and if you are interested leave a topic I can cover in my FE Builder tutorials but with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to do what I just mentioned. And... Well, yeah, I have nothing more to say. I'm Experience Now. Again, I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Uh, and well done with promoting Bartra. See you later, guys.